it. Fuck it. To recap our previous episodes, our theories suggest that quantum fluctuations gave rise to the formation of matter particles as well as force carrying particles. The matter arbitrarily jostled through space time, governed by the forces building protons, neutrons, and hydrogen atoms. Gravity pressured hydrogen to fuse, forming new atoms and releasing force carrying particles in the form of photons. Stars, New environments, larger stars, supernova, and cosmic rays began to build more complex, heavier elements. We believe that clouds of the denser elements began to cluster, and experiments in space have agreed, causing smaller meteorites to crash into the object at higher speeds. The forming planet became so hot, it completely melted. Denser elements sank to its core, the lighter elements rose and crusted to the surrounding negative 450 degree space temperature. Evidence suggests that as meteorites continued to bombard the planet, they brought water with them, as well as amino acids, all of which were birthed during the extreme astronomical activity since the quantum fluctuations. These crucial elements, along with the environmental conditions, set the perfect stage for the formation of cyanobacteria to create oxygen and build life as we know it. Subscribe and stay tuned for our next episodes discussing biological evolution, the human neocortex, and much more. When you know all the names in every language of that bird, you know nothing, but absolutely nothing, about the bird. And then we would go on and talk about the pecking and the feathers. So I had learned already that names don't constitute knowledge.